See, when things aren't going my way and I choose to bless the Lord at all times, all I'm real, really saying is, Lord, I've got so much faith in you that I will bless you no matter what I am going through. i got so much confidence in you that I will praise you no matter what I'm going through. And I believe that you're going to turn everything around in my life. And that's what praise is all about. Living a life of thanksgiving, a life of praise. Now remember, what did, what did we learn last week? We learned that I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. I've got to enter the gate. I, to get to where God is, I've got to go in with a thankful heart. You've got a lot to be thankful for, whether you know it or not. And you're going to have to put on a heart of thanksgiving. Quit your murmuring, quit your backbiting, quit your complaining, quit being negative. How many know somebody that's negative? How many know that they rarely get anything from God, they live a miserable life, they got very few friends, and let me tell you, if you want God to move in your life, you're going to have to enter with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Hallelujah. Have you ever noticed that true praisers cannot be defeated? Oh, no. No way. Now, if you know a real praiser, you know that they're always looking up, they're always believing God, they always know that God's about to do something for them in their lives. Lord, I thank you. I got my house for sale. Been for sale a long time. I don't know why you haven't sold it, but I thank you that you've got that thing sold for me. Lord, I know my kids on drugs, and I've been praying for them, but I know they're going to be serving you with their whole heart. They're going to be preaching the gospel themselves. True praisers, people with a heart of thanksgiving cannot be defeated. The devil couldn't stop Paul and Silas because Paul and Silas knew how to praise God in their midnight hour. If you're in a midnight hour, looks like all is lost, nothing's working out, that's when you have to learn to praise him the most. The devil couldn't stop Joshua because Joshua knew how to shout the walls down. Joshua knew how to find whatever problem he had and begin to march around that problem. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that I cannot be defeated. These things are coming down in my life. You've got to make up your mind that the walls are coming down. 